first step in planting your Brussels sprout seeds is that you need to select a proper site. Right here, we have five to seven hours of cool sun. Perfect. Great, well-draining soil. You don't ever want your seeds or your plants in uh, clay soil or anything that holds water too much because then they will get rot. And that's famous for some of these plants. So, I have some seeds. Take a look how small this is. It's a tiny little seed. And you want to put it in the ground every three inches. And it's okay to drop a couple of them because you can't be guaranteed that all of them are going to sprout. So I'm going every three inches. I'm going about a half inch deep. And I'm just sowing just like this. It's really important that when you begin to grow these uh, seeds and they start to sprout and, and get some size on them, that you have some type of nutritional program that you fertilize them at least once a month uh, with something nitrogen rich, phosphorus rich. Also keep in mind, it's going to take you 100 to 130 days for your Brussels sprouts to mature. So you want to make sure to coax them along that they are very nitrogen heavy feeders from the ground. They take a lot of nitrogen. So you need to make sure that you give them a little bit of phosphorus and some nitrogen as well. So here I am. I planted I don't always use this, but it helps me to show you every three inches. And then you just pat it. Really important too, guys, pat your soil down. Get rid of the air pockets. That also helps with uh, deterring some of the diseases. And then you're going to want to water it in well. Now, if it doesn't rain in your area, like in my area, we're in drought, then you want to make sure that you keep it nice and moist. You don't want to oversaturate the soil, but every few days come out and make sure that it feels a little bit damp. And if it feels dry, you definitely have to water it. Okay, now I'm going to fast forward a few weeks as I crawl over to this side. This is what that is going to look like. And when your uh, Brussels sprouts grow to about six inches tall, what you want to do is you want to start thinning this out. Now it seems a shame that you've planted all of these Brussels sprouts and you're going to have to get rid of some of them, but the reality is you can eat the tender thinnings. So here's my first one. I'm going to get rid of the ones that are here and I'm going to go and have them spaced 20 inches apart. That's about 20 inches right there. And again, eat these. There's nothing wrong with them. They taste like kale. So there we go. We're thinning them. And you see now, they are about 20 inches apart, give or take. Some people like to do two feet. And then, we get to the fun part. Because Brussels sprouts start to grow, and they can grow two to three feet high, you want to make sure that you secure them. You can stake them with a wood stake. I like to use a tomato cage. I mean, I'm not growing tomatoes in the fall and winter, so I just secure it, and then that way as it grows, it fills in this area. Now, I'm going to have to wait 100 to 130 days. If some of you have already planted your sprouts earlier in the late or mid-summer, because you're in the cold climate season, you're probably beginning to harvest some of your sprouts. One of the things that you can do to secure that your mature Brussels sprouts uh, will stay safe and not freeze over and get mushy and ruined is... If you've used one of these cages, put an insulation blanket around it. You can buy these at the Garden Center Home Improvement. And I actually added something else I want to show you. This is a vegetable or plant garden. And what you do is you dig it into the ground like this. You can imagine I'm not going to do it all right now. And then it, there's some little screws here with little holes. That's to hold the feet of your tomato cage in here secure. So it won't fall with the wind. So that is what I have here. And if you're in a cold climate area, you may want to make sure before you put your tomato cage on that you add one of these collars. And then take a look at what I did. I filled this with fall leaves. And that will help to insulate your plant. And it's fine to do this. You can open this up during the daytime. If it's not, you know, those uh, sub uh, 20 degrees, Go ahead and open it up, let it get some fresh air. And then at night when those temperatures dip, go ahead and put this. You'll probably gain about 10 degrees of warmth 
Now, if it ever goes under 10 degrees, really, if it's going to be an extended frost, a freeze like that, you want to make sure to just take your plant out of the garden, put it in a garage, and just put the roots in some sand in a cool room, and then you can harvest your delicious uh, sprouts uh, throughout for a longer period. Those of you who have never eaten sprouts fresh from the garden, let me show you how you take them and harvest them. They begin by producing the sprouts from the bottom of the stalk first, just like this. And then as they grow, they keep getting taller and taller and more sprouts come along. Well, you know, if you've never had fresh grown Brussels sprouts from the garden, Trust me, it's not the same as the store-bought frozen bag. Sometimes they have a little uh, freeze burn. This stuff is delicious and very, very tasty and sweet. 